Namaskar everyone. Welcome to Prakal. Fun with Hindi learning for beginners. In the last video, we had spoken about Swar. Today, we will be learning about the engine. Please do encourage me by subscribing and clicking on the bell icon to receive notification of any video that I post. There are totally 33 Vyanjan in the Hindi Varumala. There are 52 words in the Varumala. We have already learnt 11 swar. Today we are learning Vyanjan. There are 33 Vyanjan in the Hindi Varumala. And these can be divided into two categories of 25 and 8. These 25 Vyanjan are again divided into groups of Five, and this is divided into groups of four. That means these 25 Vyanjans are, are written in clusters of five and these are written in clusters of four. That means we have totally five and two, seven clusters in the Hindi Vyanjan. Let us start writing the Vyanjan. Let us learn how to write them as well. The sentence is, Kavita visited Burj Khalifa with her gang of classmates and her best friend Anagha whom she took along. I have underlined five words we have five Vyanjan. The first one I am taking from Kavita. K. The second one I am taking from Khalifa. K. The third one is from Gan. G. Then is from this GH from Anaga. G. And the last one, I am going to take the NG from along N. Now it is K, K, G, G, N. Now you must be wondering what these small lines at the bottom are. These are called Halat. If you remember, I have told you that Swar are like small children. They are playful but they are very helpful. They help the others. Now these Vyanjan are like elderly people. They need the help of Swar to function. Without the help of swar, they need a walking stick. And these small lines are walking stick. They are called halant. And every time we write a vyanjan, we do need to put these halant below them. And how do the swar help the vyanjan? And how do these halant vanish from here? We'll be learning in the next videos. Now, let us learn how to write these vyanjan. The first one, k. A torn line. You put a c here. A reverse C but doesn't completely touch the line and a line on top and a halang. Now K, it is a tall line next to the two. Basically the two has a slant line there. Then you have a line with a C on it and a line on top and the halang. Then the G, we have a line with a small loop at the bottom. Then we have another line next to it. A line on top and a hala. Then we write the G. We have a C. Another C which extends slightly. Another tall line. A line on top and a hala. Then we have the G. A small line. An S. A dot here and the halan, I've already put the line on top. So these are k, k, g, g, n. This is the first cluster, and we're going to start with the k. This is also called the cover, the k cluster. Let us proceed. We'll go on to the next set of engines. Now the sentence is children said chi when they saw a soiled jacket along the banks of river Jhelum near a banyan tree. Again, I have underlined five words. Children, Chi, Jacket, Jhelum and Banyan. Let me write on the Vyanjan now. I take Ch from here. Ch. Then it is Ch. From Jacket, I take J. From Jhelum, I take J. And from Banyan, I am going to take these two, Nya. So it is Ch, Ch, J, J, and Nya. Now let us learn how to write them. The first one, put a tall line, a small line, slightly far from it. 
and then it just joins here like this. A line on top and a halal. The next, again I put a C, another C which extends here into a loop, a small line on top of this and a line to join this and a halal. Then the J, a tall line, a small line here and inverted C, a line on top and a halal. Now the next one is, we write something like E, then a line here, it will join another tall line, a line on top and a halal. Last one, a tall line, a small horizontal line, a reverse C, a line on top and a halal. So these are ch, ch, j, j and nya. And these are called chabai as they start with ch. Now we go ahead with the next cluster of your engines. Let us have another sentence. The next sentence that I've got is trees were swaying in the mud and the students were busy playing the drums and the jola but shunned the tabla. Again five words. So five words. Let me take this T from trees. From mud I will take T. This is T. Then from drums I am going to take the D. This is D. Then we have D from the tula. D. Then I am going to take the double N. N. As the final remnant of this cluster. So it is T, T, D, D, N. Very easy to write, isn't it? So let us write them. T, a small line and a half circle. That's all. With a halal and a line on top. Then the T, a small line, a full circle, a line on top and the halal. Then we have the next one. D, a small line, the alphabet S, the line on top and halal. Then we proceed to the next one, a small line, a C with a small loop at the end, a line on top and the halal. Then we have dharna, it's a thin U, a tall line next to it, the line on top and the halal. Yes, you guessed it right, since it starts with the T, this is called the Tawarik. Let us proceed. To the next set of sentences and the next set of Vyanjan. I've written Tamil Nadu thinks that MS Dhoni is the best and has no equal. Again, five words here. Tamil Nadu. I take the T from Tamil Nadu. T. Things. T. That, I take the pronunciation of that, the. From Dhoni, I take the. And from no, I take na. So it is ta, tha, the, the, and na. So let me write it for you. A tall line, a small horizontal line, and a slant line. A line on top and a halat. Th. A loop and then like this. A line on top and a halat. The. It's like the the and the loop continues. A line on top and a halat. The the it starts with a loop. A C. Another C which extends a line and the line on top, the hala and the na is a line. It starts with the loop and the horizontal line which touches this line, a line on top and the hala. So this is ta, tha, the, dha, na and this is called tabar and it starts with ta. We have finished 20 Vyanjan. Let us move on to the next.
That's an interesting sentence for you. People who are fat are best suited for the role of being in Mahabharata. Now the five words are underlined here. Let me pick them up for you. People, I take per from people. Per. F from fat, but it is pronounced as P. P. Then we have B from best. B. Then it is B from being. B. And from Mahabharat, we take the M. M from Mahabharat. M. So they are P, P. B, B, M. Let us write them. P. A small line, a small horizontal line, a tall line, a line on top, and a column. The P. You continue like P and extend it the other side. That is P. Next is B. A tall line, a C, and a line which cuts the C, a line on top and a halan. Then we have the starts with a small loop, a small horizontal line, a small vertical, another loop and again a small horizontal. The tall line comes here, a line on top and the halan. The ma, a small line, a loop, a horizontal touches the tall line there, line on top and the halan. So it's pa, pa, ba, pa, ma. And yes, this is the pa, ba because it starts with pa. So we have finished the first 25 Vyanjan and these 25 are called Sparsh Vyanjan. Let us proceed to the next 8. Now here the sentence is You must read the letter which your brother wrote. Now this has only Four Vyanjan, this cluster. Alright? So I have underlined only four words. Now let me state this. You. I'm taking ya from you. From read, I'm taking r. From letter, I'm taking l. From which, I'm taking v. So it is ya, r, l. And work. Let us learn how to write them. Yeah. You draw it like a swan. Then a line. Line on top. And a hala. The r is like two with a slightly elongated tail. A line on top. And a hala. Then la. A tall line. An inverted C. Another one which extends up to here. A line on top. And a halat. Then we have a, a line, a C, and the line on top, and a halat. It's ya, r, l, v. And these are called antast vyanjan. Now let us see the sentence. It is she shrugged off the thought of singing in the hall. I want to line four words again. She shrugged singing and hall. So I take the sh from she. The sh from shrugged. From singing, I take s. And from hot, I take h. So it is sh, sh, s, h. Let me write them for you. It is sh. Again, a two with a loop on top. A line next to it, a line on top, and the the sh, you write like pa and a line across it, line on top and the hala. Then the s, we write it like r, a horizontal line and a tall line and a line on top and the hala. Then we have the h, a small line. It's something like uh, you take an s and just stop it somewhere there. Take another from here and bring it like this. A line on top and a halan. This is sh, sha, sa, ha. And these are called the oshmugendan. 
So we have learnt all the 33 Vyanjan. Let me write them for you. I got all the Vyanjan on the board now. Now in the first 25 Vyanjan, in every cluster, the first and second form a pair and the third and fourth form a pair. Let me first circle all the pairs for you. These two, these two, the first and second, the third and fourth, the first and second, the third and fourth, the first and second and the third and fourth. Now there's a logic to this. In every pair, the first one is pronounced without the H sound and the second one is pronounced with the H sound. That means you give a stress when you pronounce the second one of the pair. It is ka, kha, ga, gha, ch, ch, j, j, ta, tha, da, dha, ta, tha, da, dha, pa, pha and ba, bha. So let me read out the entire Vyanjan to you. Ka, kha, ga, ga, na. Cha, cha, ja, ja, nya. Ta, tha, da, dha, na. Ta, tha, da, dha, na. Pa, pa, ba, ba, ma. Ya, ra, la, va. Sha, sha, sa, ha. So we have learned 11 swar and 33 vyanjan that is totally 44 out of the 52 in the word mala. The rest 8 we learn in the next video. Till then keep practicing and have fun.